Hey everyone, Steve here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna be taking a look at some more 3D printing because why not? 3D printing is awesome. So in this video, we're actually gonna be taking a look at the first resin 3D printer that I've had on the channel. And that is the Elegoo Mars 3D printer. So if you're not familiar with 3D printing, there's a few different types of 3D printers. So a traditional 3D printer is generally an FDM printer with a roll of filament like this. It feeds it through a nozzle and it builds your model as it goes around layer by layer, constructing it from the ground up. Whereas a resin SLA 3D printer, like the one we have here, the Elgoo Mars 3D printer, this one works off of resin. You have a reservoir here that you pour some of the resin into. The platform actually comes down from the top and your model is built upside down. The platform comes down into the resin and then you have an LCD display underneath that resin that allows UV light to come up, shining into your resin in different patterns to build your 3D model up upside down attaching it to the platform here. So I've spent the last few days doing some 3D printing, sort of experimenting with resin 3D printing and the LU Mars 3D printer. And I have some thoughts to share. So I hope you guys are excited to learn what I found. As far as usability goes, this printer was really easy to use. It's very simple. There's a nice LCD screen on front that actually shows you the progress of your 3D print time and the layer that it's actually working on, which is pretty cool. You can kind of see what pattern it's doing at the time as the model builds up. So it has some nice features on it like that, as well as a high quality 2K LCD screen underneath the resin there for the UV light, which gives you higher quality prints, the higher resolution of that screen, the higher quality your prints are gonna be. So first off, we have the cover over our SLA Elgoo Mars 3D printer here. And this is to prevent UV light from hardening the resin inside your tray and it also kind of contains some of the fumes that you get with the resin. You also get a few tools included with the printer for cleaning up your supports afterwards and removing your model from the platform. So what I really like about this 3D printer is how easy it is to use. Right out of the box there's no assembly or anything. You can just basically stick the platform on it and get right to 3D printing. Whereas with other traditional FDM printers you might have to put some parts together and do some assembly which can be a little bit intimidating for someone just getting started with 3D printing. Preparing your models for 3D printing, the Elgu Mars comes with its own software actually that's kind of designed to work right with it. It's called Chitu Box and it actually has some presets for the Elgu Mars. So you just have to select that printer and then pretty much you don't have to touch any of the settings as they'll be ready to go. And yeah, the software was very simple but very easy to use. It had no problem aligning my models, getting the scale right, and then it had some great options for adding supports to your 3D models. The only downsides to the software I found was it's a little bit basic and I found a few things not very intuitive. Like you can't just press the delete key to delete a selection and control Z doesn't really do what you expect. So there's a few downsides to the software, but for basic use, it's pretty easy to get the hang of. And it actually had, like I said, some great options for adding supports and stuff to your 3D models. And then once you slice your model, it's very easy to just use the included USB drive and you can plug it right into the back of your 3D printer and immediately print right from there. Now, I was also really impressed with how the Elgu Mars didn't actually need that many supports on these models to get really great results. For example, the dragon here, Dracaro, didn't even need any supports under his wings. That wasn't supported at all, but as you can see, the wings ended up 3D printing really nicely without any supports. So those are all very nice pros for the Elgu Mars 3D printer. Some of the cons that I have with this though is one, it's a very small build platform. For example, the dragon I printed here is as big as I could have done it without doing it in separate parts due to the shape of the platform and the build box size that you have to work with. Another con might be that you're dealing with resin and you have to be very cautious about not getting any of this on your hand. You need to wear hand protection and even goggles are often recommended as the resin will irritate your eyes even just being exposed to it. And you wanna work in kind of a ventilated area and mask protection as well to avoid breathing in the fumes. So those could all be considered a con, although if you're doing a traditional FDM printer, oftentimes there's sanding post work that needs to be done as well as coating, which is also toxic and you have to wear precautionary protection. So um, yeah, that might kind of be a trade-off. They do include a few pairs of plastic gloves along with some air masks in the box, which is great for getting you started, as well as some filters for pouring the extra resin out of your tray back into your bottle when you're done with your 3D prints. Printing time wasn't necessarily any faster than an FDM printer, but as I've said, you get the higher quality results. And if you were trying to print higher quality 
with an FDM printer it would take longer. So I would say as far as printing time goes, you might have an edge with a resin 3D printer like the Elgu Mars. You need to clean your newborn model with something like some cleaning alcohol. I was using denatured alcohol. This works very similar to like a rubbing alcohol just to clean off your model. Then you wanna rinse it well with some water, put it out in the sunlight to maybe let it cure another few hours just to make sure there's no tackiness to it. And then after 3D printing, you need to clean off all of your tools, the platform, the tray, pouring out any leftover resin. So there is a bit of more work involved in cleanup with a resin 3D printer like this. You can't just grab your model after it's done and be like, hey mom, look what I made. But you get a cleaner model that's ready for painting right afterwards. The pros of a resin 3D printer like the Elgu Mars 3D printer here are first of all, you get the highest quality prints. Boom, that's a very nice plus. Secondly, it's nice and quiet. And then there's also no assembly needed. Right out of the box, a 3D printer like this one is pretty much ready to go. And it's really easy to balance the platform up here, even easier than a typical FDM 3D printer. I actually haven't had a single failed print yet on this 3D printer after printing four different models. Usually I have a few failed prints before I get it right when I'm working with an FDM printer, just because it takes the right amount of support, a large enough base to keep your model from slipping. The finished 3D prints are a little bit more of like a rubbery feel versus your traditional filament printer, which has more of a hard plastic feel once you're done with your 3D print. If you're doing smaller models that you want really detailed, there isn't really a better option, I think, than a resin printer. And this one at just around 250 bucks does the job very well and I had no issues at all. But if you're doing larger 3D models and you also don't wanna to have to worry about working with resin and the precautions that need to be taken with that, then maybe a standard FDM printer is more what you're looking for. That kind of wraps up my thoughts on this little 3D printer. Honestly, for 250 bucks, if you're interested in resin 3D printing, I think it's a really great option. I'd like to thank the company Elegu for sending over their Mars 3D printer. This thing has been a lot of fun to play with, and I've learned a good amount about 3D printers in the process, which is a ton of fun, and 3D printing is just so mind-boggling still. I mean, honestly, to be able to 3D print your models in this kind of detail for just 250 bucks from home is really cool. And it's a ton of fun. If you guys are creating some cool models and want to 3D print them, I feel like resin printing from home is the cheapest and highest quality way to get some really cool 3D prints with your models. So that's gonna do it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you all in a future video. Bye-bye.